couple of weeks ago, I traveled down to Johor Bahru, a border town in the far south of peninsular Malaysia. It was my plan to use the place as a jumping off point to get to Singapore, where I have a couple of ongoing writing projects. Then something began happening. The more I wandered around Johor, the more friends I made here, the more I started to like it. Boat noodles? What are, what are boat noodles? Uh, they put the noodles in the, the, the bowl is like in a boat. Really? I think so. Oh, no way. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Hey, you can just stop here. I'm, I'm, gonna, go, I'm gonna go get some boat noodles. All right. Th okay. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? I just want some boat noodles. How many bowls should I get? So, uh, the bowl is small. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll try all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is cool. I guess bowl noodles are just uh, noodles in small bowls. Uh, okay, so this is the beef, and this is the beef, that's the chicken. These noodles are incredibly good and incredibly cheap. I mean, they only cost about, you know, 50 cents per bowl, right? They're 50 cent per bowl noodles. Now, granted, you only get, you know, a little clump of noodles and like, you know, a ball of meat, but I can't complain, but I also think I could have eaten six bowls of these. <laughs> Got a couple more. Now, I really like Johor Bahru. The place just has this, uh, this really good feel to it. It's kind of grungy. Old colonial style buildings. And kind of cool think tanky kind of community centers. And really traditional. It's just real. How long has this office been here for? Oh, I think since 1960. <laughs> A lot about Johor Bahru is like uh, still old and traditional. Uh, this area, mm -hmm. around this area. So how, how has this place changed kind of over the years? Oh, no, it changes. Mm -hmm. uh, especially near the, near the uh, seaside there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the new development and a lot of the, uh, this uh, high-rise building mm -hmm. all around there. Cafe. Uh -huh. They have uh, DIY stuff. You can see the tomb drums and the DIY stuff and the painting. Uh -huh. You can see the old structure of this building. Uh -huh. and this cafe is built uh, about 1980 something. Can you explain the theme of this place to me? Like, like why, why, why did you choose this theme? Because I love jazz, I love classic, and I love vintage. Because I love old. I love so much because I, I I am not the modern. I don't like modern. I don't, I don't like technology. Mm -hmm. I love just being kind of old, being like vintage things. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's kind of like the theme of Johor Bahru. Yeah, <laughs> because the well, Johor Bahru is old. You know? yeah. Yeah. Hey hey hey! Yeah. See you later, man. See you later. Yeah. Here, bye bye. 
Thank you, thank you. Flowers. Mm -hmm. hey, you, yeah, yeah. Can you can you explain what are they? What, what, what do you use them for? Because Indian god always they must put the flower and pray. Okay. Okay. So it's like for the temple here. Yeah. Oh, Radha Maria Temple. temple. Yeah. temple. Uh huh. Yeah. How, how long have you been making these? For how many years? Uh, this shop for me 20 years ago. Okay. Oh, the shop has been here yeah. for 20 years. Yeah. How long have you worked here? They are working in Simla. Simla? When we start, we are uh -huh. working here. Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible, man. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And the place is just this melee of different cultures, different peoples, different religions, different time periods. I mean, Johor Bahru is just incredibly textured, which is, you know, oftentimes what you're after, you know, in travel. You just have things like represented multiple periods of time, multiple different cultures, multiple classes, just kind of superimposed over each other, kind of giving a place this uh, unique feel, an original vibe. Oh, shit. That just totally screwed up this cool scene that I, you know, like to do where, you know, I make a big point and I, you know, put on my sunglasses and walk away. And that is what makes Johar Baru truly unique. <laughs> 